But I wanted to turn you know, our attention to a different topic entirely. Um, you mentioned before we uh, hopped onto this call that you were the former uh, commander of the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center uh, in Bethesda, Maryland. And that's currently where uh, President Donald Trump is being treated for COVID. He announced last, uh, last week on Friday that he and First Lady Melania Trump were uh, diagnosed, uh, tested positive for COVID-19, and that's where he's being treated right now. Um, there's been some, you know, discrepancies uh, in terms of, you know, communication from the White House about how severe his conditions are. And you mentioned before on the earlier call that, you know, he's in a high risk demographic. He is above the age of 70. He is also considered overweight. Um, I want to ask, how concerning is it for you, um, you know, this mis mixed messaging uh, about the severity of his conditions? Well, as a former commander of the, of the uh, you know, sure. facility that he's being treated at. Sure. Um, again, uh, you know, if, if you want to design a, a, a very complicated and, and challenging scenario, then have the president of the United States come down with COVID. And he has. And so now the physicians uh, who are taking care of him and his White House staff need to do really three things, in my opinion. Right. Number one is they need to make sure that the country feels confident in that he's getting the care he needs and that the business of the country is going on. Number two, he needs some modicum of security and privacy. He needs the ability to be a patient and to get the attention he needs. And number three, he needs uh, the, the correct care and the, the most evidence based care that's available uh, to get him through this and back. Uh, we're all hoping, regardless of our political affiliations and everything else, we're all hoping that this patient, uh, you know, has a uh, l less effects from COVID and, and recovers quickly. Um, we're all worried because we've seen patients who do well in the early onset, and then all of a sudden, um, the body's inflammatory response kicks into high gear and they start having more and more problems. Um, so far, it looks as though uh, the president's doing okay. His medical team, I think, in trying to be ginger in what they give to the American people and to the world listening, probably didn't recognize the amount of scrutiny that every word they utter uh, is given. And so, lesson learned. Um, I would agree with um, the other pundits on, on you know, the media that uh, the, the treatment regimen he's on uh, is a little bit inconsistent with his activities and his actions. Um, one indicates a more severe disease, but clearly watching him and seeing his actions indicates that so far, so good. Uh, I. I won't even begin to second guess his medical team. They are superb physicians. They are trying to carefully balance the needs of the nation, the patient's demands in this case, because he's he's not just a patient, he's the president, the patient's demands. Probably the, and, most, uh, probably the most unique patient they could ever, you know, care for. Right, I, the, I mean, at the end of the day, he, he, he may be your patient, but he is also the president and he gets a vote. Um, he has to decide in partnership with his physicians uh, how much of a vote he gets and how much of a vote they get. Um, but they're trying to balance all those necessary things that uh, the president needs uh, as far as rest and convalescence, uh, the ability to show that he is still doing his job, um, all these things. And until their hand is forced hard one way or hard the other, it's going to be a delicate balancing act. Um, I'm heartened by the fact that he has the strength to, um, uh, to do the things he's doing. That said, uh, I have mixed emotions about him getting in a vehicle and driving around Wisconsin Avenue. Yeah, uh, I, was going to, uh, I was going to ask you about that. And I think it's worth you know, explaining what happened where he you know, went into the back of his presidential motorcade and you know, drove around outside the medical facility waving to uh, supporters, um, despite the fact that he had just recently tested positive for COVID. Um, that seems like a potential area of exposure, does it not? 
Well, I think that a lot of people are going to have very definitive and opposite reactions to that. I think some people are going to say, you know, good on him. Uh, this shows the world and the country that our president is mobile. He's, uh, he's able to get out and wave to people. Uh, the country's, you know, he's in charge and the country's being run and uh, he's all in. Um, and, and I can see aspects of that. On the other hand, it sends a message to people that if you have COVID and you're on to the point where you require a variety of significant medications, um, that you can get in a car and drive around. Um, I don't like that aspect of it because there are people out there who don't can't distinguish the fact that he's the president. And I worry that he sends a message to some people who have COVID, maybe not a serious case of it, you know, put a mask on and get in your car and go somewhere. Uh, if the president can do it, I can do it. So I worry from the public health example of that. Uh, and yes, it, there are people, if you're in the vehicle with them, you're going to be at increased risk. Um, I don't know their status. I don't know, you know, whether they... Like the Secret Service. The Secret Service, um, again. Uh, so that is not going to be without controversy. Uh, and again, uh, if somebody says, I think it send a good message in one ways, I'd say, I don't disagree. It sent a horrible message in other ways. I don't disagree. Understood. Well, thank you again, Dr. Nathan. I do really appreciate you answering all my, uh, all my questions. Uh, I know they range the gamut. Um, again, uh, my name is Jackson Cody. I'm a reporter with Mass Live and I was speaking today uh, with Dr. Matthew Nathan, the former uh, Surgeon General of the U.S. Navy, Harvard University Fellow. Thanks again, Dr. Nathan. Thank you, Jackson. Have a great day. Yeah, take care.